Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome back to another battle vid. Now you guys requested this because we'll be checking out a battle between the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, the Pixel Buds Pro, the Sony Link Buds S, as well as the AirPods Pro. Now, before you guys say anything else, some of you will mention what about the Sony WF-1000 Mark IVs or even the Bear Dynamic Freebirds. First off, in terms of price, they are much higher and in terms of sound quality, I think both of them are better than the rest of them here. But price is what we're looking at, so I'm gonna push them out of the way. Now, when it comes to price points, all four of these uh, wireless buds here are within that $200 price point, with the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro coming in at $229, but we do know that Samsung is offering uh, cheaper pricing right now and also tradings that bring it much lower. But the individual pricings, we can see the Link Buds S are now $149. Uh, the AirPods uh, Pro are sub 200. We do have the Pixel Buds Pro at 199. And again, if you're pre-ordering the Galaxy uh, Buds 2 Pro, you can get them for uh, under $200. So Let's go ahead and look at similarities they all have. So they all have some kind of fast charging with the USB type C ports on the three of them. And of course the lightning ports on the uh, AirPods Pro. And that should give you something roughly of about 10 minutes of charge to an hour of use. Now, three of these uh, True Wireless Buds have wireless charging. That is of course the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro the AirPods Pro, as well as also the Pixel Buds Pro. The Sony Link Buds S do not have wireless charging of any kind. Now, let's go ahead and talk about comfort and fit. I think this one is pretty clear and we've seen it from previous videos. The Link Buds S take the, the, the cake here. They win this category because they are the lightest and also they have the most comfortable fit. I didn't need to actually retool or change in terms of the AirBuds tips and I really like that. But coming in second are the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. I do like the fit there. Felt very comfortable as well as also uh, following that will be the Pixel Buds Pro. And then finally, it will be the AirPods Pro. Now, something to take note, both the Pixel Buds Pro and the AirPods Pro within the app have an ear tip fit uh, application, which allows, lets you know if your fit is correct. So I do like that aspect there, but again, they do come in second and third respectively. Okay, let's talk battery life. Now, this is very important for True Wireless Buds because we use them quite often, and of course, we take them around with us everywhere. And starting at the bottom of the pile, it's the Link Buds S. They're about 20 hours battery life, not that great, and especially in this day and age where we can see longer amount of time for battery life. And the number three spots are the AirPods Pro. Now, the AirPods Pro have 24 hour battery life, which is nice, giving you a full day, but again, this is something that is still lower within the pack. Now, the second spot goes to the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, coming in at 30 hours, which is quite impressive uh, with its battery life, but the number one spot goes to the Pixel Buds Pro at 31 hours with 11 hours of playback while using your uh, wireless buds, the Pixel Buds Pro. So I definitely like that spot. Allows you to enjoy more time with your music. Let's jump into the very main thing, of course, we care about, which is audio quality. How well do they sound? And I'm just gonna outright say, look, the AirPods Pro have been very nice, but we do know quite well the, the audio language is a bit dated and it doesn't sound as good as the others, just from previous videos already. So what we can say here is this becomes a battle of just pure sound and this is where I'm going to add in a little caveat for you guys here so what I try to look at here is volume levels first now with all these true wireless buds when you place the volume at 50% um, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro the Link Buds S and even the AirPods Pro do sound louder and clearer while the Pixel Buds Pro sound lower. You do have to crank that volume up to about 80% to get something that's even matching closer. You just It's just something that I notice quite effectively while going during this range. Not saying 80 is equal to 50, but when you move it up, that's where I get the best amount of volume range. Now, when it comes to bass, 
the Pixel Buds Pro actually do the best job in terms of bass. Now, that's where you've got a nice, robust bass feel, especially with songs that require bass. But on the downside, you also will get um, uh, songs that don't require as much bass having more bass there. It's not bad, but it's just something that happens there. Now, with the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, you have a nice mixture of bass in there that is much richer than the Link Buds S. Uh, and also you've got a better separation between the mids and the lows because of that. And then the Link Buds S excel very well with the highs, the mids, the lows. The, of course, the lows with the bass is not as strong as the other two. And you do have the EQs in the app, which will help you around, but that's just looking at a standard profile. So what do I actually pick? Now, I am one who likes a more balanced profile, much more warmer tones, and I prefer the Link Buds S here. And I also prefer that here because in terms of listening to, um, you know, high fidelity audio and also having more codecs with the LDAC support, the Link Buds S do that. Now, coming in second will be my Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Samsung has their own proprietary uh, codec that does hi-fi uh, audio, 24-bit audio. Yeah, of course, there are, there are conversations out there saying 24-bit doesn't really matter with true wireless buds, but the support for, of course, a better um, codec for hi-fi audio does a really good job here. And you can tell, especially when you jump on apps like uh, Tidal, that do a really good job there with that. And uh, then, of course, it comes in the uh, Pixel Buds Pro, but it's really close to those, so it's not a huge separation there. Now, another thing to mention, of course, is things like 360 audio. We do know that we have that, of course, with the AirPods Pro, uh, allowing you, of course, to listen to music in a spherical feel and this head tracking. That is also available on the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and also has air head tracking as well. And you do have that with the Link Buds S. Now the difference between the Link Buds S and the other two, between the, of course, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and the AirPods Pro is that it doesn't have head tracking and it only works with Tidal while the other Galaxy Buds 2 Pro works with any music app. While the Pixel Buds Pro doesn't have that feature at all, so that's something that's missing if you're looking for something like that. Next up, of course, is active noise translation and transparency. So I'll start off with transparency first because I think the clear winner here still the AirPods Pro, they do a really good job with transparency mode here and I really like it. Coming in a very tight second combined actually is the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and the Pixel Buds Pro. I think they both come in with that second spot and the number four spot will go to the uh, Link Buds S because the Link Buds S is just not as tight as the other three in terms of transparency mode. But in the reverse, when it comes to active noise cancellation, I will go with the AirPods Pro coming in at the fourth position. It's great, it does a really good job, but the other three are really, really good. And then coming at the number three spot are the Pixel Buds Pro. The number two spot goes to the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, which has a really, really good uh, active noise cancelling, especially with the seal that you have it. And the number one spot goes to the Link Buds S. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. It is night and day compared to the rest of them, and it absolutely shows. Now, I'm not gonna forget uh, the microphones and talking on your true wireless buds. That's something we do quite often. And I'll say all four of them do a really good job. I've used all four for phone calls and most people can't determine which is which or even if you're using a headset or a mic or you're just on your phone itself. So I think in terms of voice quality, you're gonna get a very good um, package from all of them. Now, before I finalize this, let's just jump back into the application. I've mentioned a few things from here though. I think when it comes to the most robust application, you're gonna find that the Link Buds S do a really good job here in giving you something that has um, you know, adaptive ANC, it has so many features with the EQs where you can customize it real well compared to the others, um, and there are just a ton of features there. The one feature that it has that the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro has is speak to chat, which is great. Now, speaking of the Galaxy Buds 
Institute Pro, it has the second best application here. Really robust, a lot of features. You can go into the ANC, you can go to transparency, you can have game options, uh, you have EQ options as well. Now the third best app is the Pixel Buds Pro. It is robust, but not as robust as the other two. It's got the volume EQ, which you can't do anything other than turn it on, so it's automatic. And finally, it's of course the AirPods Pro, which there's no app, it's just volume controls altogether. So that's there. Now, the one thing I will talk about before we finish this is of course the uh, device switching. Now, with the AirPods Pro, we know within the Apple ecosystem, it does that quite effectively. Uh, and I really like what it does there. And I think that's where everyone is trying to meet that standard. Now, the Sony Link Buds Edge can connect to two devices at the same time, but it doesn't switch. So if you're playing TikTok on one device and then you play music, you will hear audio from both sources. That is something I think Sony can fix within the app, but right now it doesn't do that. The Pixel Buds Pro uh, advertises a very big feature, which they can do, and it does it quite effectively. It will switch from listening to music on one application and then going to TikTok on one, uh, one device, and then from TikTok on one device, back to music on, on the other device. That also works well. As well as the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, which also lets you uh, do, of course, uh, device switching, where once I'm playing music on one device, then I can go to TikTok on another device and go from TikTok to music on another device, vice versa. It also tells you which device you're connecting and disconnecting from, which is nice to see. That being said, guys, go follow me on TikTok. It's Border Work. You see some of my unboxings and other videos out there. So, to round this up, which is the best true wireless buds to pick up? I will place the AirPods Pro in the fourth spot because I think its audio uh, quality is not as good as the others right there. Uh, so I'm setting that aside at number four, but it's still a solid pickup, especially within the Apple ecosystem. Now, when it comes to the number three spot, the number three device would be no one because there is a joint number two winner here. And the winners here are the Pixel Buds Pro and the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. I think they come in pretty well uh, stacked, even though the pricing for the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro are $29 more, but I think there's enough features and also the audio quality where you have more bass with the Pixel Buds Pro, uh, but you have more balance with the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro right there. And I think the number one spot still remains with the Link Buds S. Now, yes, it doesn't have wireless charging. It does have rapid fast charging. The battery life may not be as long as the other two, but the ANC and the other quality with the application to me still makes it a very, very attractive uh, device to pick up, and especially priced at $149. Now, either of these devices, you guys can pick them up. I definitely like them. But leave your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro should actually take that top spot just because of the features it has and also the better battery life? Or do you think the Link Buds S is the one? Or, hey, look, you're a Pixel fan and you're a Google fan. You're like, look, this is probably the better device to pick up. Leave those down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.